This we is got it. The mayor. This the is mayor the is moment here. we've been waiting Woo! for. All morning we've been saying, Sean's coming down. Sean's, Sean's going to be down. here. <laughs> the, the first thing we told our producer, Amber, we're like, carve out like 20 minutes. <laughs> Because once he gets going, Sean Kellogg, you don't know when he's going to stop. You don't know when he's going to stop. Oh my gosh, how great is it to, for you to throw out the first pitch? I am so excited. I must admit, I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited, You're right? Nervous? Why? I'm, well, because I'm not a pitcher, Sheila. I don't, I've never been on the bumper. What are you? Nuts? Everybody threw I'm, the ball to you. I'm in the batter's box. I've never been on the rubber before. You know what okay, I mean? Okay. Well, so all you got to do is go see when Bob and I threw out the first pitch. Yeah. How'd it go? Not great. I was. <laughs> Sorry, I almost killed a high school clarinet player. I almost. Yeah. And, and I did not get mine all the way to the plate. But in fairness, my catcher was not great either. I'm just You're gonna blaming say, the catcher. You're blaming the catcher. No way. That's harsh. And you that's know what? My brother said I threw like a girl. Oh come on, that's not okay. <laughs> that is not okay. So you can't do worse than me, Bob. How about that? Well, I'm gonna let it rip and see what happens. I'm really looking forward to. I'm just. What a day we have. It's Isn't it beautiful. It's you gonna be me? like upper 50s. The sun is shining. Uh, as a player, you're getting ready for the game out here. Do you get a sense of what opening day is in Cincinnati when you're playing? In Cincinnati, you do. Yeah. You know, play, playing with other teams, you know, you realize this is different. Yeah. This opening day is different. Of, of all 30 teams, this is the opening day that's the biggest, no doubt about it. And just the feeling from the fans, and, and you feel it when you're here, it, it, it's really a national holiday. Right. I, you know, I, well, they shouldn't you, have school. They still have school they today. They still have school. <laughs> Most people will None of them go. Yeah. Uh, some are lucky to have spring break, but we pulled some video the other day of you being the Grand Marshal in the parade oh. a few years back when they announced that you were going to be doing the pitch. What was that like for you? As a Reds alum, just seeing the streets line with those people, I waiting think, to see you. I think that's the first time I really understood the magnitude <laughs> yeah. of this. Of this, yeah. because as a player, you're coming to the players' lot, right. you're coming to the clubhouse, you come out, everybody's ready to go. Right. When you're the grand marshal in the parade, like Pokey and Dimitri will be today, you're like, whoa! I didn't know this was happening. <laughs> I had no idea this was going on out here. This is incredible. So I think I'm grateful I was the Grand Marshal a couple years ago because it really gave me a, an appreciation, really as a fan, yeah. for what this opening day means for the city. You, you mentioned Pokey and Dimitri. How great is it that those dudes are going to be involved? And when you when you see guys who played together, you know, at a certain era, at a certain time, how great is it when everybody gets back together? It's incredible. You know, I, I think sometimes when you're so young and, and then, you know, you're playing with each other, maybe you take it for granted a little bit. Yeah. But as the years go on, you look back, especially that 99 Reds team, mm. you know, to see Dimitri and to see Pokey and to see, you know, Lark and, and all the guys that we played with, you realize now, man, we were 25, 26-year-old kids back then, you know, and as we get older now, we're 49, 50 years old, we, you know, there's a lot of love for each other. So I am so excited to see those guys. I just texting with them, and I told Lark I can't wait to see him. So it's, uh, you know, like I said, you, th those bonds, and you play 162 games with guys, you're, you're with them more than right. with your family at yep. times. Talking about being those young guys together, seeing the way this team came Ooh. together last year, Ooh. all these young kids with a couple of veterans, of course, but the way they just emerged. Yeah. I mean, what do you expect from this team? Do you think yeah. it's going to be different here in Cincinnati? Oh, well, if it's anything with Reds Fest this year, I was like, wow, there's a buzz. This the, yep. this team has done something to this city. Like, I kind of felt like what we did in 99. Yes. But, you know, De La Cruz and, 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 and obviously McLean being a little banged up, but hopefully he gets back at some point. Um, just Spencer Steer and Encarnacio Strand and Hunter Green and, you know, the list goes on and Abbott and Montas coming in. Uh, the list goes on of, of these guys. Uh, it's an exciting team. I mean, this team, especially in the NL Central, this team has a chance to really make some noise like they did last year. So there's there's room. Uh, you know, you can see the optimism is a, is a big deal in the city right now, yeah. and with good reason, because there's, there's some stud players on this team. <laughs> Specifically, when you talk about stud players, Ellie De La Cruz, he seems to play the game in a different gear, or he plays it in a little bit different way. Just the speed and the reckless abandon almost he plays. Have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, no. <laughs> I, mean, serious, serious. I mean, his fast switch muscles, just the way he runs, he yeah. runs different. His power is a little different. His bat speed is a little different. You know, I think the biggest thing when you're a young kid with that kind of ability is, you know, mentally getting into the grind. Like, not, when you when you struggle, try not to struggle so long. You've got to, you know, kind of bring it back 
back. I think that's one thing you learn as a player. You can't teach experience. And I think when De La Cruz continues to get more and more games up here, he's going to be a superstar. Yeah. One thing I want to talk to you about, Sean, you know, they call you the mayor for a reason. <laughs> you take time to talk to everybody who, who pays attention to you. You're so kind. You have your Miracle League up in yeah. Pennsylvania. You come down here and you work with the Miracle League, the Joe Nuxall Miracle League. Um, what's, why is it important for you to show people good character and yeah. bring young people up to you know, the character and respect? Well, don't we all want to feel welcome? Don't we all want to feel loved? You know, my, my, I think my just my parents growing up, my dad was so big on, like, treat people the way you want to be treated. And, and, uh, and I think, too, like, I, I love the definition of humility is you didn't get here alone. You know, we all didn't get here alone. You guys didn't get here alone. You guys have been doing great things on TV for years, but there's a ton of people in your lives that got you here. So I always think of that like, so whenever you come across somebody, you have a chance to, if, if, if in a power and a chance of being a player and having a, uh, having that opportunity in, in a, in a pub, as a public figure or a, per, a person that they really admired on the field to make a difference with them when you meet them, you know, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that I have that opportunity. It may be baseball, but we just had the Zamboni go on. <laughs> the Zamboni, there we go. So, so I, I, think we're, I think we're all clear. Hey, thank you so much for making some time today. Dude, I know you got a very busy day ahead of you. You guys are the absolute best. And Sheila, this jacket, can I steal this? This is next level. I'll get you one. This is that guy. <laughs> Bob, why didn't you get one? Oh, my goodness, you guys so great to see it thanks for having me on i appreciate it yeah from breaking news to feel good stories local 12 has it all tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more